welcome the all new it's about time, boys. Ford Mustang. I six fifty. Okay, it looks like a GT five hundred, just straight up. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of looks like a charger on the front end, not gonna lie. The side profile looks sick. Not a huge fan of the, the front hood vents. Wing looks sick. Back end looks interesting. It has some Mach E flair to it, in my opinion. I like the older headlights more as of now. This almost looks like the fake Mustang in GTA 5. Like the headlights especially, it almost looks Charger-esque, like I said earlier. You can tell the front grille is similar to the 2018 Plus model. Convertible though, seeing that in the S650 looks pretty sick. I'm assuming left one's EcoBoost, middle's GT, right's convertible. Interesting. The side looks beautiful. The back almost looks... Hmm. It almost looks electric. Again, Maki -E vibes. Yeah, I don't like that hood, the hood vent too much. I really much prefer the extractors on the 2018 Plus. This almost looks like the extractors on the GT500, but just cut a lot short. Uh, let's hear if they're going to talk about some specs right now. But the styling, right now, as of right now, 2018 Plus takes it for me. The 6th Gen Mustang. Um, what an incredible lineup of vehicles. Well, let's see what they have to say. I can't leave you out. I'm excited. We're going to have like a mosh pit right what now. What do you think, folks? It sounds this like people are like. Seventh generation kinda, eh. of the Motor City's hometown sports car. In different countries. So I like the lower grille. I think the splitter is nice. The, the headlights just don't do it for me. They look like an Audi's headlights. Yeah. It looks like if there's a bit yeah. of a hump I mean, like, like on the, the front here, hood. Right? Like the people here, do you like style, fun, freedom? No. <laughs> yeah, of course you do. Cow, a little bit of a cow on the hood. In the crowd. And, the and side, really the back end looks pretty Mustang. nice. It is not a offset record. could be fixed, it's obviously. But there are key things not a fan of how it looks in convertible, especially. So one is their love if you go in this, I definitely think hardtop looks way better. But also their design yeah, I'm not a fan of the headlights, straight up. Personality and individuality Wheels are not bad. Look kind of similar. And everything that our customers to love is here today in this yeah. lineup. The badging looks like they went back to retro styling for the badging right, like on my S197. Again, we're going to get into it. We're going to go New deep. features and technologies to take that Mustang experience up and Interesting off. gauges. Okay, so Whoa, the, the interior though. You got your you got your fingerprints on it. Interesting. What's your favorite? Well, there's, there's a lot to choose from. Real but modern with really the interior. Love, we've got a, um, a Fox body Mustang theme cluster. It will take you right a lot back of people to the would love 80s. That. It's really cool. Very and it's interesting. even got a night mode with that iconic Ford green night color. It's awesome. Uh, we've also got some really cool new performance features. Uh, we've got one that I know you are going to love. It's an electronic drift brake. Very cool. Yeah. Electronic drift brake. That's interesting. And we've also got a new That's feature called Remote Rev. It is 100% Mustang fun. No apologies. It's for our customers that just love the sound of their Mustangs. You can rev your throttle directly from the palm of your hands from your key fob. Oh, that's <laughs> kind of sick. That's so cool, yeah. right? I mean, cars and coffee, that's a big flex, but I'm here for it. That's awesome, right? That hey, is you want to hear sick. my car? Right? I mean, that's yeah. so cool. That's actually pretty sick. All right, I can't wait to learn like more. That. And you know I'm a drift guy. I'm the voice of drift, formula drift. Vaughn's a homie of mine. Electronic drift. It's so awesome. But now I have to ask this because you've been around Mustangs for years. This interior is amazing. But Ruth, let's step inside the, the cockpit interior because looks obviously you can see inside the convertible. A little insane easier here. For a Mustang. Let's get everything. that straight okay, up. So there's so much to tell you, Jared. But first. You know, on the previous Mustang, it's people very... liked the pony lighting, and we just took it a step further with the new Mustang. So as okay. you approach, not a fan of the new BRLs. Lighting that just greets you, and then when you climb in and you see the new cockpit, 
It looks double, like a jet fighter. That was the inspiration double behind OLEDs this or design. LCDs. So we've just added a lot of digital tech into this new cockpit. It's about I mean, to be a BMW or a cockpit right there. You can see it here on the big screen. Tech options. You're talking about Jet Pilot. We've probably all seen Top Gun. If you haven't, you live under a rock. I have the old one or the new one. <laughs> so, you know, I, I can't wait to uh, take this for a quote unquote test flight. It's we still got some hard buttons, though, which is important and good more about to the see. Well, Climate controls see, being hard buttons would have been right? preferred, in my opinion. Piece of glass, the houses, two large displays, one for the new digital cluster and one for the Sync 4 center stack. Look at the craftsmen. Ship, the fine materials used, the big large piece of glass, isn't it gorgeous? Absolutely. And I wonder how much this is going to cost. Yeah, it looks good. It's <laughs> elevated, right? Because this is it a is. canvas, so it's completely customizable. Track, snow and you kind of kick that off. But it yeah, definitely is customizable. Sport. So, like you said, with it being customizable, changes even if the go suspension back to some of the even. Performance, right? you can just Which I think they do in the, in the current ones. By the selectable, customizable, selectable drive modes, and we have up to six. That you That's can customize sick. for your driving conditions. And then other customizations are going to be my color and the cluster themes. Alicia so mentioned the Fox body, so you can select it on the center stack, see the preview, hit the select button, and it's instantly That's on your sick. So they cluster. have different. Your gauges and then other screens. They have different types of old Mustang clusters built in. That's screen, actually sick as fuck. It's there on your awesome. cluster. What about the soundtrack of I life? Know. What about the and soundtrack? as you're driving, you remember you mentioned that Vanilla Ice song? That's right. If you want to turn up the volume, you've got that 12 speaker B&O sound system. So Love like it. you said, we okay, just so can't so wait for our customers to get behind the wheel, play with all the new features that we have to offer. Let's go, let's go, all let's right. go, let's go tip to tail okay. here from the front end to the back end. What do we got? And again, seeing some lines, seeing yep. some finger pieces, looks like but a charger, again, evolution. Though. Right, right. So for the front end of the seventh gen, no, we wanted like to that. give it an aggressive look. So it's kind of got that long horizontal brow. So you're going to see that Just thing like coming down the road mean. behind you. It's mean, right? Just the like um, upper grill shape, it's kind of a nod to the 60s design. It's a, kind of that U shape. But you're going to notice the EcoBoost and the GT completely distinct. Two distinct front ends, first time. Really deciphers eco, you know, obviously mm. eco versus standard V8. Looks a little more yeah. basic. Yeah. Badass Bigger grill. Right here. Gloss. Looks good. I like it. Right. The this, hood. this shape right here from the nose, the chamfers, what do we got? Yeah, so, you know, the chamfered nose, that's kind of a classic thing that's been happening in the past few generations. Also, right below that chamfered corner, tri bar headlamps. Right? Love them. That's looks good. Man. I mean, what do you guys think? Good looking headlights, That's right? Signature. They look good. It's it's just that evolution, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. 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 I feel like you just <laughs> exhale. Like, do they like it? I think they like it. Okay, yeah. we're good. We're moving on. Okay. We're moving on. All right, let's 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 move over here. Let's move All over right. here. Uh, let's, let's talk about this silhouette. What's going right. on here? All right. So for the side, okay, we dropped the belt line. Okay, we relaxed it. Less. It wedge, does look a little lower, actually. Just right. like me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you talk about muscle, check out the body side, right? This all new sheet metal, this sheer, strong, chiseled. There's no undercuts, kind of like American muscle, right? <laughs> also, uh, there's a really cool story about the roof line because you took into consideration all your races out there because there's nobody that races out there, right? Uh, the roof line here, it accommodates big heads like mine or better yet for the racers. Well, for those racers out there, you don't have to take your helmet off to get in and out. Yeah, so, so it's got that nice accepting, yeah. so you don't have to take your helmet exactly. off or on when you get out and right. inside of the right. inside of the vehicle. Awesome. Right. Let's go out back. Hey, got, this is like favorite part, right? Right here, okay. favorite part. These really wide rear shoulders. Very interesting. Again, like the that chiseled looks. In the you know, that's uh, here, yeah. kind of pointed where the power hits the road. Hmm. Exactly. Rubber right. rubber meets right. the road. You put the power down. You got to connect. Yep. I'm going to say uh, overall for the list, they dropped the deck. ball, in my opinion. Uh, kind of gives you this really sharp angle inside you. First impressions uh, always takes a moment it for it to really grow on you, but I say 2018 really looks mean. better, yep. 2015 these, uh, even looks better. Lamps. Really razor edge uh, plays up to, again, that chisel feel. It, it, the yeah, back end looks it, like a Camaro, front end looks like a Charger. that overall progression that right. you guys are paying homage but paying it forward. We talked about That's the personalization uh, of the car, the diffuser. More different interior environment, environments. Uh, you can customize anything from wheels to seat belts. Ooh, I like customize it. And, uh, let's talk about performance. That's, I think, a first. I mean, if they say That's speed actually kills, really brakes give life because there are performance brake options as well with Brembo. Oh, we, well, we've got three exciting Brembo brake caliper options. Check Blue out the uh, special color for this year. It looks good. I understand you could also put the pony on there if you wanted to as well. So let everybody know yep. it's a Ford Mustang. Yeah, it's really cool. What else do we got? Well, 
we have some uh, two new uh, bespoke factory options. Uh, we've got the bronze appearance package, which you're going to see here on the EcoBoost. Well, that's kind of nice. We also subtle. have the um, black design series package. Too. The heart of the beast. You're going to talk about the power, the story, Let's what's going on. You're going to get these guys absolutely hyped. But okay. talk through performance. Break it Make down. or break. Yeah, performance is everything. It is our legacy. It is our future. It's much Minimum more 500 than 0 right? times. It's the rumble of the V8. 520 it's if they're really pushing. 550 driving. if they're it's going on some the dodge shit. It's open day, open air cruising, and it's certainly the track day. It's visceral. 450 torque. It's emotive. Big buzzwords. Big buzzwords. But Big buzzwords. actions speak louder than words. So come on, man. Hit them with it. Tell me what you and the team have done. Okay. Let's get into the hardware. Starts with the V8, 5 liter, Gen 4, at 480 Gen 4 plus horsepower, the most powerful Mustang GT ever. Next. 480? Tied with bullet. Next. Not too crazy. The manual lives. <laughs> Hashtag save the manual. Hashtag save the manual. <laughs> We can't forget about our very popular 2.3 liter EcoBoost, all new for this generation. It delivers on the balance of performance and efficiency. 350? No compromise. 350 Next, horse? I got to talk steering and handling. Uh, he didn't talk about the horse for the 2.3? Next level. It starts I was hoping with our performance pack, flat high performance pack. Steering wheel. Yeah, it's flat bottom. That's interesting. That's crazy. And rip it. And then lastly, I want to highlight the electronic park brake. The electronic drift brake, I should say. It's pretty sick. Co-developed with Vaughn and his team. It is, it is ready to rip. So you can try to, your hand at drifting like a pro. I know we did. Tire budget blown. <laughs> Everybody wants to be Vaughn getting junior nowadays, that's right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. He's my hero. <laughs> Performance is our legacy, as I said. And this is evidence. It's our future. Let's talk performance series. We got a history. Shelby, Mach 1, Boss, Bullet. It's this integral to the Mustang story. This has got to be a, a Boss then, right? Each has a deep meaning to they our did Shelby. customers they did Bullet. and to our team, as you saw in the video. They did Mach 1. Others may be bringing down it's the curtain. It's got to be Boss. We say it's time to raise the curtain on a new performance pony. Let's take a look. Ooh. Let's see. It sounds so good. Ooh. It's way better than all the dark lighting. That's a dope badge. This is a, oh, so he really meant all new. So stampede then. Man, it looks really aggressive and really dope. That, that hood is beautiful. It looks like RTR, fog lights. Come on, check out this beast! I like that lower splitter. Front grill's no very Show interesting. What are we Wheels, looking at, man? Not my Jared, favorite. This is Dark Horse. First Dark of its name. That's actually First new dope. performance series in more than two decades. A new chapter in the storied racing history of Ford Motor Company and Mustang. Its name wow. is indicative of its design and its aspirations. Dark it's Horse, that's dope. Demeanor, absolutely sinister. Looks like it needs 19 inches Dark on it. Dark Horse is for the enthusiast who wants pure red force of nature. All right, so you talk about nature, but this is, uh, I mean, this is absolutely supernatural is more like it, but I want all the details. Come on. Yeah, it, uh, we turned up the volume on everything that mattered. Striking okay. visual so cues. this is the 500 plus horsepower. Countless hours of iteration between our engineers and the studio to get everything right for high speed handling, reduced drag, cooling, all essential. Driver focused interior is capped off with serialized badge. Drive modes, track apps, right at your fingertips. Talking about the exterior, you're going to see the pony in your rear view mirror. But unique fender and deck lid badges are going to be a subtle indication of what just blew past you. 
<laughs> Interesting. Let Dark horse. Peace. All right, under the skin, what do we have? So uh, what's, what's under the hood? That's the same, oh, like a similar it. GT Let's performance pack go. wing, but just a little uh, different. It starts with the most powerful coyote ever, targeting 500 horsepower. There's the 500. 500 horsepower. That's the 500. That is mated with a tried and true manual Tremic. transmission from Tremec that's there we evolved go. from Tremic. our GT350 and Mach mm -hmm. 1, and we have some fans. <laughs> yeah. Chassis tied down with the Magna Ride with next generation controls of and course. absolutely designed to stick to the road. Our team lived at the racetrack, spent hours turning every knob. Every knob turned to 11. With the available handling pack, this is the absolute most capable five liter yet. Of course. Yeah, little, 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 little flaws there. There you go. So the question to you, Ed, is did you find yourselves in the team saying Dark like, Horse. Don't hey, name. what if we took it further? Excited We've to see done the future of Dark Let's Horses. Do more. Come on, man. <laughs> well, actually, that's exactly what Ford Performance does. Actually, we did more than just ask. What do you think, folks? Would you like to see more? Yeah. All right, let's take a look. Oh, damn. Race car looks sick. Sounds amazing. Bro, the race car looks so sick. Wait to drive the games. It's actually clean. It looks way better with a wing like that on it, in my opinion. It suits the back a lot more. There's a lot of different cars there, or different specs rather. Really I had to roll sick, my though. sleeves because my hair from my arms was poking through my jacket. What an arsenal! Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, here to tell us more That's is jokes. Mark Rushbrook, alongside. <laughs>